All right, I'm Nick out in the garage, which is just, just been an absolute disaster out here for the last few weeks. We got a new machine, actually came in two days ago. It's got power, we have material, we're waiting for a few things, need a mold. It's gonna be able to produce kill guards and do a lot of cool things, okay? It's not ready yet, but it will be. It's gonna go over extremely well. Today, though, we're gonna talk about this transducer. Now, this is a transducer that goes with the Helix 8 Mega SI Plus Gen 4. Uh, Mike was nice enough to send it out. If you guys have a transducer and you want a mount for it, it's a lot easier if you send it to me. I could try to prototype and ask you for measurements and do all these things, but if I can make the measurements myself and just get on the computer, I can produce it pretty quick, right? So all it is is this tiny little mount, nothing to it, okay? It's gonna allow us to scupper mount it. You'll see that in a second. Like all of our other scupper mounts, it has the square in the bottom. So this bolt can go through there. Then it just lines up, you know, lines up with the holes like that. This wire will be able to come through there using that little groove. It'll pull it flush to the bottom of the kayak, which is what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about keeping your transducer level at the end of the video, but I'm gonna show you how to install it real, real quick if you aren't familiar with our scupper mount. This is a top piece, you know, this piece slides on here, on here like that. That allows it to sit in this groove. You should be able to see down here, hopefully. Um, the cord can still pass through that hole and then it can also drain water. So you don't have to worry about taking a wave and then having a bunch of water in that hole. It still drains properly, which is important. Um, I'm gonna climb underneath there real quick. Just toss the GoPro on the ground by myself today. Throw it in place, run the wire through there and let you guys see how it fits. So here we go. Like that. Obviously, you have to run the wire through here. Just not the easiest one person operation, but you guys already know fancy videos is not a thing. Don't have time for it, alright? This is going to go in place just like this. That'll slide in place like that. Just toss this up here temporarily. I can't see what's going on down there, but I'll assume that it is pretty close to the level. That is forward. And that's that pretty nice easy clean install fairly level off the gate nothing to it it's gonna be nice and protected right here you'll be able to load it and unload it i didn't tighten it down too much uh, you want a little bit of movement just in case you run into something but that right there is all it takes nice easy install it'll sit like that obviously you can spin this so your cord comes out the front, put it in there, drill a hole or whatever. So now let's talk about your transducer being level. Now I get a lot of emails and questions about side scan and you know, Nick, my transducer has a small angle to it. And I mean small, not like I had some guys install some mounts crazy, but one step at a time, right? So side scan, side scan doesn't truly shoot 90 degrees. If it did, when the kayak rocked, then it would be shooting in the air. Side scan shoots out and down. That's how you get a picture of the bottom. That's how you get shadows. So when you look at side scan, you see shadows because there'll be structure here and then everything behind my hand is a shadow. Important to consider. Now we have the idea of level. You're in a kayak that is floating on a body of water. Your transducer is never going to be level. There are people who take these kayaks and put 200 pounds of gear back here, which means your kayak is sitting like this. There are guys who take these short little tiny kayaks and put trolling motors up here, which means your kayak is sitting like this. Every time you lean and rock, your kayak is not level. So chasing perfection with your transducer is not a thing. You're never going to get it perfectly level. And it's something you guys should consider. I see a lot of craziness about what well, has to be level. Does it? Call it a question, okay? 
just think about that when you're trying to chase this perfection it doesn't really exist so super quick and easy look at that transducer um, easy install they'll be on the website there'll be a link below if you have that transducer and have questions leave a comment below or shoot me an email at nick at navarkayakfishing.com thanks for watching